Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes, Tomcat building action. Okay guys, I'm just doing a little piddling. I had to get my nose all tucked away. Put me some little clamps here for my fuel line. This is where I fuel it up. I want to do everything from the nose. This back part of the cockpit, all salty here. It comes right out. Oh, Butch is why I'm calling it, wondering why I'm calling it salty. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> no. But uh, he comes right out. Okay, over this back part. This front guy, he's kind of hard to get in and out. Not hard, but <clears throat> kind of a hassle. You know, and there, but the good thing is there's nothing underneath him. You know, everything's back here. But I still don't want to have to take that cockpit off to do anything at the fly field. You know what I mean? I should never have to take it out. So I want to do everything from right here. And I uh, got my air filler gate uh, right here. I have, this is my turbine battery. And this is my turbine plug. So I gotta be real careful what I plug what into because there's gonna be a lot of wires out here. So I'm marking the turbine wires. That one plugs into that one. This one plugs into that one for my to use. These batteries are gonna go right here. I got the other one charging. And it's gonna plug into the receiver. You see, so I'm gonna have to be careful what I plug what into, but I gotta put my switch out here too. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I'm lacking. See, here's my propane. That's why I hit it with propane. And uh, my air, I got everything right here. Everything but my switch. So I got me a little bulkhead made. And after about two hours of staring where I was gonna put it, I decided I'm gonna put it right there. Okay. Oh, and uh, there's people asking me about them micro switches. You know, I don't know. They're kind of hard to put, pull up. I, I was thinking about putting some springs on them. You know, I know there's vacuum on the top of the wing. Not much. You know, I don't know. I don't really want to get into it, you know. But <laughs> I got some new cords. All I got to do is plug them in. Remember, I ain't got nothing zip tied in the center. All I gotta do is plug these extension cords into them other cords and then pull them through. Uh, no big deal. You know, because I put them in last. And uh, no big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and rig them up with small ex with, uh, extension cords, took them straight up. But Mike from our website said he can give me a, email me a diagram that will leave the servo power pulling that down when I the switch cuts it off something of that nature might email it to me r more m double o r e uh, 4169 at aol.com r more 4169 at aol.com email it to me bro we'll use it Let's, we'll show everyone on the show that'd be great but uh you know I don't want to get into this, them, you know, lifting up even a little bit might change it, you know, I just, it's probably a good idea just because there's people flying these with just the spoilers and they're doing just fine. And uh, they, they stay on, they just flip the low rates when the wings go in. You just got to flip your ailerons to low rates and then the spoilers don't come up very much when you turn. Would be cool to turn them off, Mike. Email me to me, bro, and we'll... Uh, hook it up right here in the show But for now Until I get that perfected. I think I'm just gonna put my extension cords in for Kentucky And uh, what else I got going that's about it I'm gonna get them done tonight And tomorrow I'm gonna pull out my Thunder Chief wings, but the only thing I gotta do is glue this gear door back on that one wing This that one that keeps blowing off and uh, just a couple little things, and it's ready to go. F-16s all ready to go. Uh, only thing I'm lacking is some air valves. 
got two days, tomorrow and Saturday. They were supposedly shipped Monday. So. I hope they show up. They'll be here. They shipped priority mail, so I could even get them Saturday yet. You know. I'm going to glue my on and off switch. Right here. Man, Smitty called me, you know, my buddy from Texas. He's always at them jet meets. He flies that uh, uh, bobcat with the flame job, but you know, you can see the skulls. Called me, he's already on his way to Kentucky. He's there by now. Oh, man. That is no fair. He said they were there started flying jets today. I think. Or tomorrow they want to start. Oh, the tent should be setting up. This is a big one, people. Even if you don't fly jets, if you guys are just in the neighborhood of this uh, jet meet, you need to come see it. This is one of the biggest ones in the world. There'll be 200 jets there, at least. All the vendors will be there. Uh, the old boy from Fly Eagle's going to be there. Jimmy. James. Oh, whatever. James, I believe. Yeah. He's going to be there. And, uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of people having a good old time. You know, if you want Bob's there, going to be there with the HD camera, baby. That's a cool place for that switch, huh? This is one of them fail-on switches. All you got to do is turn it on. That turns it on. Turn it off and just plug it back in. Very good, pretty cool. But they fail, they'll fail on. They won't. It's just a... I like this aerosol, man. You can spray it upside down. Upside down, sideways. It's all good. <laughs> Do everything I can do except uh, put my dang valves in when they get here tomorrow. And I will be ready to roll. We'll get the trailer loaded. Y'all want some videos? Count down to Kentucky. Loading the trailer. It won't be near as bad. I'm only taking three jets. The Falcon ain't going, can't take six. <laughs> that was a bit extreme, man. That was a bit extreme. But we got some good jets to take, though, huh? Thunder Chief, be a crowd pleaser for sure. All you guys, man, if you make it down, you can take a picture with the Thunder Chief. Take it back, show your buddies at work. You met Bob. Come on down. You know, we have a good old time. I get kind of busy, but, you know, you just got out. <laughs> I get real busy at them things, people, so you just got to take it for granted. I'll say hi and I'll be as friendly as I can, but I got to make some Bob TV. But, uh, until next time, people. We will see you back at this shop. St. Bob Tam. St. Bob Station. This episode of Bob TV was broadcasted in Philovision. This is a drama-free zone. <laughs>